Good day and blessings to you all. Morning, moon, noon, night, moon. Who might be up too? Some of you have been up one or two o'clock in the morning watching these. I'm coming to you with a word that was given me on the 23rd of August, 2024. And basically, I think I would title it The Lion of Judah. I'm giving it to you on September the 4th, 2024. And that, I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you now other than uh, we will be on tomorrow with a teaching. So getting to the word, I, I was sitting talking with the Lord and I began to see a vision. The vision was a lot of a lioness that came into view. And she stood there for a moment, then she disappeared. As I watched, a lion came into view, and he too stood there for a moment, and then he disappeared. As I continued watching, it appeared that I was looking at the side of a high mountain, and suddenly a very great lion appeared. And he stood for a moment, and then he slowly walked up the mountain to the top. When he reached the summit, he simply stood, looking around as though he were surveying the world from this mountaintop. In just a very few minutes, the first two lions, the lion and the lioness, appeared back. They came back into view at the bottom of the mountain and began to ascend it as though they owned it. They were about halfway up to the top when they saw the great lion standing there on the summit. They stood there without advancing. They just stood looking at him. And as I watched, a large snake or a serpent of some kind began to slither in with them. It was just slithering in between their legs and they weren't paying any attention to it at all. The great lion on the mountaintop had turned and was watching them. He watched for a few moments, and then he began to run down the mountain toward the three, the lion, the lionist, and the serpent. He hit them on a dead run, and he began to tear them apart. He picked the serpent up in his teeth, and with a shake of his head, he slung it off the mountain. Then he proceeded to maul the two lions until they finally ran off bloody down the mountain and out of sight. The great lion simply walked back up the mountain to the summit, stood there for a moment looking around and then stretched out on the rocks. And he lay there just resting and looking around. Father said, son, the mountain I have shown you is the mountain of my people. Those who have come to me and love me. The lion and the lioness are those who roam about the earth looking for those they can devour. The serpent is the evil that roams with them. I realized then that he was really revealing Psalm 91, the picture where we will tread on the lion and the cobra, we will trample the great lion and the serpent. The great lion in that case is just the, the lion, not the lioness. He said they have been roaming over the mountainside at will and doing damage to my people. The great lion said, the great lion is the lion of Judah. He is over the mountain of my people, my son, who are also his people. He is watching over them. Much of the mountain, my people, hasn't been resisting the lion and the serpent for their own protection. And as a result, have been devoured by the evil my people have been falling victim to evil, and the Lion of Judah has had enough. He charged into the evil and began to tear it apart. That is where this world is right now. This again, son, is a time-related sequence that I am showing you to take to my people. The fight is taking place in the spirit world right now. The Lion of Judah, Judah will not be defeated. He will defeat evil, 
and he will drive it off the mountain. He will drive it away from my people. And when he accomplishes that, he will return to the summit and take his place where he can rest and watch over his people. For there are many who have been damaged and traumatized by evil, and they will need to heal and to recover. Tell my people, son, to remember, he, the Lion of Judah, and I never slumber nor sleep. We watch over you all the time. And they too, my people, will come to a place of rest in me and in my son in due time. The fight is taking place. And it is a fight in the spirit world that we may or may not be aware of, but most of us not aware of it. But apparently the fight is a little bit of a horrendous fight and it will not end well for the enemy. That's the word that the Lord gave me to give to you today. God bless you. I hope you're having a wonderful week and we will talk to you or see you or chat with you again tomorrow. There will be a teaching. God bless. Unknown Prophet signing off, Fred Watkins.